friends used to come over with the Atari little, you know, the, the thing that you would put, mm. yeah, the cartridge, and you would just... <laughs> you had to blow on the cartridges to, uh, <laughs> to get them to work. You know? Brother Knight, do you remember, what was that game, Combat? What, yeah. Combat? Yeah, tanks. I played a lot of that. Yeah, that's the one that had like the tanks and the airplanes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah the, you get a bummer, and a bummer as well. Yeah, tanks. exactly. No, we played yeah. a lot of invisible tank pong. <laughs> <laughs> the good old days. Boy. The good old days. You're yeah, really early. Well, it's eight twenty nine. Yeah, but I had Yars Revenge. I had, I had all those games. I had Pitfall oh, and uh, uh, Laser Blasters from all the Activision games I had. Activision. Yeah. Buy yeah, my ColecoVision stuff is actually still in the box. It's right behind me. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I still have my Dreamcast sitting around. Yeah, I, I, I have a Dreamcast. I have, well, I actually have, I have, actually have or had all of the systems. And I just <clears throat> just got rid of a box of stuff. Original uh, modded PS1, a GameCube, uh, oh, one of my Dreamcasts. The GameCube was a great box. There were some great games on that. There were, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry it didn't, uh, didn't do better, you know. But, um, I was a big fan of the um, the Rebel Assault games on those. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I like I'm that. I'm a driving and flying game guy. Oh, definitely me. I'm definitely I'm a driving I'm a driving game guy. Definitely hands down driving game. Let me push this yeah. really quick, Matt, because I'm gonna okay. I'm, I'm gonna actually record this one okay. and put it online because I want to get your Oscar predictions and why, and then we'll go back. I'm share mine with you. We'll go back. So we've, got a, <laughs> we've got to stay on topic on this one, Matt, because we know we normally just start chatting with Matt, don't we, and talk about. Right, but hold on. Anything. Let me check. <laughs> yeah, this, this was important. <laughs> My predictions are up on goldderby.com. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And then we have uh, an article that we did for the site, too. Oscar oh, okay. Predictions. The Kahuna. Oops. Okay, it's at Matt. At Chitty, right? It's, no, it's oh. M A T C H I T Y. M A T. Oh, Matchy, that's right. Yeah, Matchy. Matchy from RottenTomatoes.com. Join us. So how you doing, Matt? Good. Good, Tired. good, good. No, no, I hear you. Glad when all this Oscar crap is over. Really? <laughs> no, look, I love covering it, but it's, you know, it's a slog. After like, a while, yeah, I mean, right? you know, you do awards coverage starting in, you know, at the very end of December. and Yeah. I mean, partly too. Like That's a whole I spent, yeah. you know, I I do, you know, aside from this, there's probably another eight or nine media hits that I do every week. What? Right? Really? Um, yes. Oh, I, I don't want you to think God. I'm cheating on you. But, <laughs> you know, I don't do a bunch of media shows. How about I'm the only one? Sorry. How about on Fridays? Am I the only? I thought one? we were the only You're ones. Only, You're the only TV, and this is the only. Okay. Right. Chat, this is the only Google Plus chat I do all week. Oh, okay. okay. Normally. So, now That's we feel right. a little bit more special. Normally. But yesterday I had extra radio shows. I Oh, my God, Ayub shaved. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's like on, on the age kit. We are hanging out. Very unsettling. No, no, no. The other day he was like a baby. Like there was yeah. Can yeah. you even buy booze? <laughs> Look at, <laughs> nope. Not without checking ID. Oh, Joe. Matt, that was priceless. <laughs> he looked like Joe the other day. <laughs> oh, everyone's nice. in. Why? Just like that. Like, everyone came in. That's awesome. Yeah, okay. so yesterday um, I did uh, a bunch of extra radio. I did uh, a Google Plus chat. My first Google Plus chat I ever did with anyone else <gasps> for this British show, Truth Something. And I can't remember the name of Was it. Was she cute? <laughs> No, it was a dude. Okay. Uh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I got to meet a few other critics. Um, Andrew O'Hare from Salon, who I'm a big fan of anyway. But um, we were talking Oscar. I mean, this is the time of year everybody wants to talk Oscars. You know, I've got right. extra. I'm doing over it. after this. Well, I always go to over to um, foxnews.com after this because I do. Who do you a, talk to over there? I do their. Um, it's their web broadcast oh, that I do. Okay. So I do their web broadcast thing, and then. Um, Today, I, this is actually the one I'm most excited about because I've not ever done this before. I'm doing a thing with uh, NPR's Weekend Edition. Oh. Oh, I love yeah, NPR this cool. part. Are you going excited. to Santa Monica? Or no, over in uh, Culver City. Oh, Culver City. Okay, yeah, okay, it's okay. the NPR. It's not the KCRW. It's the NPR. Oh, then the, ne yeah. the network, the yeah, national. So it'll be a national um, thing. On We're talking about retired Oscar categories. Um, oh, wow. You know, and I've got a bunch of other stuff I'm doing today. So, like, yesterday and today, it's twice the amount of uh, media hits that I do. Okay. Talking about, you know. So, like, are you okay on time with us? Today? Yeah, I'm okay on time. It's just, it's been exhausting because it's like okay. normally, like, 
normally I have, you know, part of my day is that, and then I can do work the rest of the day. Now it's like I can't do. So now you know how those celebrities feel. That's all they do. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> but, sort of. but Matt, but don't you get recharged by just looking at Maria? Just like look at her I and do, then you feel energized, right? It's giving me new life. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You, you get a free hug from that too. Okay, so it's like having of... a cup of coffee that I'm sitting right next to. Aww, a latte. Yeah. Your very own latte. Oh yeah, yeah. She, actually, if she does, you know, the the uh, the brown dress with the. Uh, <laughs> I like my coffee like a lot. You wife. don't really need to explain <laughs> to you. <laughs> the hole is deeper now. <laughs> <It's your dick. laughs> easy, Trev. Easy. It's all about meditating. Um, okay, so let's start because, okay. and I know you've been talking about this map, but I want to know, I want to oh. know what, um, the movies are that are coming out this weekend. Are there even movies coming out yes. this weekend? Seriously? Uh, Snitch. Yeah, okay. Snitch is coming out. Snitch no, opens this week. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, was, I was okay with it. This I, is Dwayne, da, uh, Dwayne, Dwayne the Rock, the Rock Johnson. Johnson. Yeah, Dwayne Johnson oh, okay. uh, stars as a guy whose son uh, gets uh, thrown in jail for um, drug trafficking. He had, His son had been set up by a friend. Because of uh, oh mandatory God, he's playing, sentencing He's playing guideline. those roles now. Yeah. Like the because of like the mandatory sentencing guidelines. Wow. This kid gets 10 years. Mm. And Rock's like, what can we do to get him out? And they're like, oh, well, he has to he has to snitch on somebody else. And, you know, the kid doesn't know anybody. So the Rock decides that he's going to infiltrate a drug cartel and start setting people up for arrests. Uh -huh. so, the, so the story is that he is a he's a guy who's like this average guy, right? I mean, he owns a trucking company, but he's just some regular citizen who, who doesn't deal with drugs, and he's going to infiltrate this whole cartel and, you know, be intimidated by these gangsters. And, and I think The Rock does a great job. I think he's a good actor. Mm -hmm. I think that he's really fun to watch in movies. I think he does fine. He does well here, but I think that he is really miscast because when you've got these, you know, gun-toting drug runners, you know, stepping up to him and intimidating him. Like, they look it up to him. Look, you know, yeah, it's, like, it's, not, it's like, how bad it's can you intimidate a guy that you're right. looking up at? Right. Uh, you know, I mean, he's what, six, six, and a million he's pounds. Like, he's, he's a giant. I mean, he's huge. Yes. Right? So, yeah. you know, at one point, somebody pulls a gun on him, and he, and he does this, and you think... It's not... He could take that well, guy. Well, that's the thing. That's it's a, like, The Rock would eat that gun. Right. <laughs> Come up. Right? him out. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, I think that, you know, he would have been better off casting somebody who is... A little, little bit, uh, yeah, mm. more regular looking. Mm -hmm. So, um, but that being said, I think he does a he does an okay job. But the movies, you know, if you're a big rock fan, go see it. But otherwise, it's kind of tough uh, to go uh, to premiere on Oscar weekend. Well, right? I think what I they've mean, done is they've like, picked a movie that's going to appeal to an audience that doesn't care, that about, doesn't the care about the Oscars. Okay, right? I like get the it. fans of the rock, like they could give a yeah. Hoot. Okay, all right. Is there another movie opening? Because I really want to get into our Oscar list. Dark skies, but it didn't screen. Dark Skies oh, from the producer nothing. of it's like dash marks uh, the producer dash of Paranormal marks. Activity and Insidious and Sinister. So it's a story. Aliens. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Spoiler. Nothing <laughs> in here. What is this 81% of Red Flag? What's Red that? Flag is a movie. It's opening in New York only. Uh, it's oh, an indie well. movie about some indie filmmakers. Oh. Okay. It looks kind of cute. 82% no Yeah. Audience, so you know, one of the ones that's here local is... Um, Bless Me Ultima, which is pretty good. Seventy six percent on the tomato. Oh, this is meter. about the um. This is, it's, the, it's based the on a book, and, and yeah, it's a coming. It's kind a of a spiritual coming spiritual, of age story. Right, right. Um, but anyway, that's what's opening this weekend. Is anyone gonna watch a movie this weekend? In the movie? Um, no, I don't think so. Right. No, I'm gonna be watching stuff at home. If anything. Well, yeah, me too. And I'll be definitely staying home on Sunday to watch. Also, I'm off on Monday, just so you guys remember. So. Yeah, I know. Locker. So I no, I'm gonna go to preschool with my little one. Oh yay! It'll be fun. Um, oh, he is so cute. Will Tony dog. will be here. I think Aroxia will be here. So that's okay. So let's go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, no, get there. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, at, at least Tony moment. will be here. We'll be able to talk to Tony because I miss Tony. I haven't seen him in a while. And... He hasn't jumped in either, so. He's uh, meditating. He's meditating right now. Oh. Very good. 
All right, so let's talk about. <laughs> you got talk about the blank stare of hate. He's just <laughs> mad. He's blank just stare mad of hate. He mad dogs me like I'm mad dog um, trap. Okay, so let's talk about. <laughs> I want to see your mad dog look. I can mad dog. All right, let's see it. Okay, wait. <laughs> just to prepare. Mad dog. Do you want me to do it to the camera or to you? <laughs> To the camera and both around to him. To the camera. <laughs> and, and now to Ooh. the camera. And oh, awesome. That's all right. That's I, all can, right. I can mad dog. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> I have some chills. That's kind of sexy, oh, yeah. though. That's kind of sexy. I'm mad dog tempted sometimes. Like, yeah. Okay, um, okay, so let's talk about this guy here. Which guy? That uh, handsome, handsome. That dude. that guy that no one can see what you're doing. You can. See. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. I was gonna have you introduce that <laughs> person. Uh, Bradley Cooper. <laughs> I couldn't think of his name. What is that? Where's that coming from? Is that uh, me? What are you doing? I don't know. Yahoo Movies. What are you doing? I'm trying to. It was a mistake. Mistake. <laughs> that was a mistake. I'm, I'm sitting right here. She sounds. She sounds like her son. <laughs> it was. Hey, it's my mistake. There it is. There it is. Where is it? Uh, where is the list? Go Where's to your award, list? Go to awards tour. Okay, thank you. I mean, the Oscar ballot works, but you can go to awards tour. We're on no. awards tour no. with the Malcolm, the Malcolm McLaren. And then, and then on each and every place, actually, including Spain, Oscar Asia, picks. Africa, Tokyo, Mexico. No, but no, oh, I you want to see all the, the nominations? Yeah, the list. What did you do? This is from your site. I, well, all right, click off. There. She broke your site already. Uh, go to Oscar challenge. Okay. You need to put it on your main. I, I know. It, it's on there. It's right there. It's the little guy. Okay, there it is. But Maria, he's been so busy that he hasn't been able to put anything on the main menu. No, it's there. I just didn't see it. I have to apologize to the big kahuna that I had the other website up. Okay. Kahuna. Here we go. Best. Yeah. Shall we start with best picture? Uh, sure. I know what you're going to say. What am I going to say? You're going to yeah, say that you're going to vote for Argo as best yeah. picture. Yes. I That's what I did. Yeah, everybody's saying that, yeah. Yeah. Well, for a couple of reasons. Uh, it's got the momentum. It's won all the other awards. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that this is the movie that allows the Academy. I don't think that this is what the movie does. But you could look at it a certain way and say, hey, you know what? That movie says that. Hollywood producers saved the hostages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't think that that's actually the case, but that's kind of what it's kind of I what think the that's movie, how it's going to get interpreted. Yeah, yeah that's uh, not the case, uh, Matt. We had that discussion, right? Right, <laughs> right exactly. But I think that that's how it's going to get interpreted, and oh, yes. you know, that's it's going to win. Oh, mm -hmm. that's why you have it at ninety-six percent. No, no, that's the score. Oh, that's not that. Oh, chance. that's yeah. not your. Yeah, that's not a chance. Yeah, there's previous oh, okay. score. Right? Now here, the, Tony and I were talking about this this morning. This is so like indicative of who makes up the Academy because look at this movie that is in the Best Picture list. A movie called Amour. Right. Mm. That is about two old people who are about to die, basically. Have you seen the movie? I just saw a two-minute trailer, and I feel like I've seen the whole movie. But Am you I haven't right? actually seen it. No, I haven't. And I apologize to it's, those it's of you. A, it's a very it. dramatic, very rough movie. I'm sure. It's a, it's a really. It's it looks like rough. it's a very deep, heavy, well acted it film. It is. Do you think it it's best picture? Yes. I, I think it is a very art, you know, very touching and very moving study about study. What study. No. Oh. Sounds like school. School. No, no. I like mean, you could be good at way. that age, who mm. are kind of effectively waiting around to pass away. God, it's so depressing. Oh. It is depressing, it's but so it's depressing. But it's, but it's it's a powerful. It's powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really. Yeah. Okay, but you guys, Amour is on the top ten, right? How many? Ten. Uh, nine. Nine. Sorry, nine of these movies that are. Up. I still vote for Django and mm -hmm. but you know, Argo but, but, is but pretty good too. You don't actually get a vote. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't get a vote either. You don't? I'm not the Academy. I'm too young. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Okay, okay, let's move on. Um, what do you guys think? I've, I've, I haven't seen a big enough sample to make a choice. I, I'll, I'll, I'm going to 
what, what for best film you're saying? Like, I got a bit disappointed. Well, best film. But Trev, you got to yeah. remember, like predicting the Oscars isn't about what's best. It's about how the Academy is going to vote. What we're trying right. to figure out how, you know, five or six thousand people are going to vote. The rules yeah. of the game is not that which movie you think should win. Right. The rules of that's the game. That's a whole different story. It's a whole different. Well, yeah. the that's game. the same as with the uh, what was that war film that won uh, with the uh, general. Jima. Oh no. No, we were a bomb. Is it the Hirojima? Or... Oh, oh. Uh, Hurt Locker from a couple of years ago. Hurt I, I don't think. I mean, we're all right. Oh, yeah, Hurt Locker. But yeah, yeah. best film of the year. I don't, you know what I mean? Things like that. I, I can't really. Right. I'll just go whatever Matt says. Hurt Locker was really <laughs> good. But that, I've, was, I've a that was partly based on the, the decision to, I, I don't know, a woman director. It ended first. up with a certain amount of momentum. There yeah. was a little bit of um, yeah. politics. Yeah. I think I, th I think that that um, that Avatar everyone, everyone everyone's saying Argo, but I have a sneaky suspicion that they'll go with Les Miserables. What? Really? Uh, no, I don't know. Yep. Uh, I, I'd like Les Mis more, but I don't think so. No. If anything, they will go with Lincoln. If they yeah. go with Argo, they'll I think that yeah, that's is likely. God, but I think that it's, I still think it's gonna be Argo. I think the 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 closest. Yeah. Competitor is probably Lincoln. Lincoln, yeah. If they don't go with Argo, I think it will be Lincoln for sure. No, no chance for Life of Pi. I would not hold my breath. <laughs> no. Best picture? I didn't. There know was a time I was thinking Life of Pi had a better chance, but you know what? I feel like the studio really botched that campaign. They, they. Mm. Part of it is the marketing to yeah. Academy members. Is it Life of, yeah, yeah, Life of Pi has won hardly any other award. Now, Life of Pi, I think, is going to win Best Visual Effects. Mm -hmm. But it hasn't won a lot of other things, um, and and clearly the studio hasn't really been pushing it and doing a lot of the, um, doing a lot of the push for it. So mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. So my bet would be Argo too, but I really hope that it doesn't win. Otherwise, like, I how, it's going to mess up Canadian history. Yeah, I, well, I wonder, I wonder how uh, Jennifer oh, Lopez feels now. I forgot about the impacts it will have on Canada. Yeah, it's like we well, yeah, a bunch of whims. Make the Canadian rebuttal film. <laughs> yeah, I, I will make a Canadian short like it, rebuttal. Call like, it Argo Screw Yourself. What do you mean? Like, <laughs> like here's well, one thing, like right? Kempton, I think that's what Kempton should call it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like close off the embassy so that you guys are all screwed. No way, that that's not how we rode. <laughs> 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 Um, okay, so let's go with <laughs> Well, Tony ate all my mad oh, ones. Why did not eat them all? You ate them all. <laughs> <laughs> Let, okay, I had, look. Oh, now it's just pistachios. No, 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 this was a full, this was you full. Ate them. Oh. Okay, that was There's full. There's not really dusting or anything, is there? There's no fragments or anything left. Well, because she ate them, Trev. I was going to say, did she drink? <laughs> 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 I mean, I was going to say, did he lick it or what? Okay, eight. There's eight Madelines in each And you had five. No, I had six. Six. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 and this point goes to Tony <laughs> Mack. Well, <then> Tony. <laughs> no, no, no. Is this too late now? Late. Too late. No, no. Tony, no retractions. Tony, Tony just totally won. <laughs> no retractions. No redactions. No, I'm being very serious. I would have offered you one that. I would have saved you one, but Tony... Did you just roll your eyes at me? No. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't like blur you out. Okay. Um... <laughs> Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> Daniel Day-Lewis, right? Best Absolutely. actor. Absolutely. Daniel Day-Lewis. Yeah. No question. Okay. okay. Right. Ah. No question. That's cute. Jackman has a possibility. No. 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 <laughs> Not even close, I uh, think. The old guys in the Academy are going to vote for Daniel Day-Lewis because they knew man. Abe Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> what am I smoking? <laughs> Hugh Jackman is incredible when they miss Wolverine. I don't know what he wants to see Wolverine. He's good, but yeah. I do. 
he was really good in that. Have you seen that clip that the show, or I don't remember what show it was, but where he was teared up on some show, and they had been interviewing him, you know, because I don't remember what they asked him, I don't remember why, I've just seen these clips of it, like, he's clearly very emotional, and he's all teared up, but he's got the Wolverine sideburns, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> dude, come on, do you have to cry as Wolverine, like, now we're just going to think about a big baby Wolverine, like, that's not, <laughs> Wolverine doesn't cry. I think of him doing the Gangnam dance with uh, Psy uh, from recently. Um, okay, so Daniel, D- you think Daniel Day Lewis, huh? No one else has a chance. Like, no. there are no surprises in the best no, actor. Not in best actor. What about, um, what about- I will tell you this: if if somebody else wins, everybody backstage in the press room and everybody in the theater will do. <gasps> like, yeah, right. collectively. I just feel like Daniel Day Lewis as Lincoln, like the acting. I mean, he's that's him. He's there's not a big stretch for him. I don't know. I just, I just. Well, Daniel Day Lewis is Abraham Lincoln, and that's kind of how he is in real life. Is that what you're saying? No, what I'm saying is that's how he acts normally. Because acting is not a, you know, it's like very similar. I, when when I saw him in the Oil movie, what was that movie with him when he was doing? Yeah, uh, there will be blood. There will be blood. Yes, that okay. I thought was incredible his performance in that as Lincoln I'm just what, his his long-term John Houston imitation <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, yeah okay all right I'm not I just I think no actually I would think just... if I was voting I would vote for Joaquin Phoenix actually because having watched the master say what you will about the movie I spent most of that movie worried about Joaquin Phoenix. It was like, oh God, he was what's so wrong with him? He was so disturbed in that like, movie. Did the way you guys he's see so that? hunched over and the way he but carries he's like that himself. But he's not in real life, though. But he's not. <laughs> like, in real life, like, he actually stands up straight. And he's, he's I, think, I, I, think, I think the question is I think Daniel Day Lewis has already won an Oscar. So has. Um, uh, so is Denzel. Oh. So is Denzel. So, so you mean, they so maybe just go for a newbie. I was gonna say no, no, no repeat, Bradley, repeat, Bradley repeat performances. Yeah. But but here's the thing. Here's what the Academy does: is they look at somebody like a Bradley Cooper or even a Hugh Jackman, but more so Bradley Cooper, like a young, young. single guy, all chance. the success, making a bunch oh. of money, oh my gosh. you know, mm. dating whatever yeah. girl he wants, and the Academy, politics. all guys in the Academy say, "Here's the one thing you can't have." That's yeah. Yeah. They won't do that to Hugh Jackman to... because Hugh Jackman is um, a happily little married. Bit nicer, <laughs> yeah, happily but married and everything. That. So they may but just... They've been doing that think... to Leonardo DiCaprio for years. But this is why I think Hugh Jackman could win. But he's now just... He's, going, he's almost 50. Is he? He's not yeah. going to Yeah. He's not yeah. going to uh, I th- I, th- I oh, think okay. that with, I with Hugh Jackman... That's okay. Uh, w- w- with Hugh Jackman... But with Hugh Jackman, I think unless he gets some seriously good roles uh-huh. over the next couple of years, this is going to be his one chance. You know what's interesting is that mm. this guy's agent, Hugh mm. Jackman, is Denzel's agent, is also Joaquin's agent. Oh, wow. Yeah. The agent is rolling oh, in the cash agent. right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? Good That's agency. Wild. I, I need that agent. Oh, <laughs> okay, let's um, best actress. Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> the race, actually, you know the betting odds. Why don't in why London, doesn't the Academy do the same thing with Best Actress? They'll give it to a young girl because they're all young. Because it's who except they for Emmanuel Riva. They're not all mm. young. Meryl right. Streep is not young. No, but what I'm saying is they do give it to the young. Why? I, I'm just like. Okay. I think that this is going to be a really close race between Jennifer Lawrence and Jessica Chastain. Um, I think Jessica that Chastain. I would probably. I think Quince, if I was Quinzani Quinzani Wallace from. Quinzani? I don't think Qu- she's going to win. Quinzani from. Uh, she's not going to win, and, I'll, and here's why: because the acting branch of the Academy is the largest voting branch, mm-hmm. and what they don't want is some six-year-old coming in. Out of nowhere. And six-year-old for them to for them to say a six-year-old who was. Four at the a, a time, six, a, or whatever. Right, or was, uh, I think, six at the time. She was six at the time. Acts as well as any of the rest of us who've been studying and training and working for years. Okay. Like, that's yeah. from an ego standpoint. Yeah. Now, I think that it's going to be between Jennifer Lawrence and Jessica Chastain. I would, I would <laughs> probably lean more towards Jennifer Lawrence because she won the SAG Award. Mm. And again, yeah. 
the actors the are the yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm using that as Pretty kind cool. of an indicator. Okay. So, I, mm -hmm. you know, there's a chance it'll go to Emmanuel Riva, but I think it's going to probably be Jennifer Lawrence. But this one, I, I think, be ready for any surprise. I don't think Naomi Watts is out of the running here. I was going to um, say, Naomi Watts. She was great in that, in that movie. movie. I didn't see the movie. I saw clips of that movie. and Well, especially, oh my yeah, God. that movie is terrifying. And especially from That's about someone, the who's, 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 the someone who's talked oh. about being swept out to sea and yeah. having a drowning scare. Right. Mm. I mean, you see every bit of that terror on her and face. And it's her whole family. If you guys yeah. don't know the true story, this is a true story of this woman and her husband and her, like, three boys. Based on a true story. Yeah. Based on a true story. Anyway, that was crazy. So, okay, Je you say Jennifer Lawrence. You say Jennifer Lawrence. Yes. What do you say? I say... Covengere. No, I say... <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have to go with you guys with Jennifer Lawrence. I... Yeah. Well, yeah. Can... Mm -hmm. I would... Pause for a moment while I go grab a glass of water. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> you grab a water really quick. I'll be oh, right. you know what? Okay. Oh. It's almost 9 o'clock. Okay, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Do you know where it is? Yes. Yeah, Maria just did clap her hands and it's some more brilliant for you. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> oh, oh, do, the, do the mouth thing. Is that right? Oh. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's bad enough he's the receptionist. You know, you know, do you know that people come up to here? Okay, look at where Tony sits, okay? People come up to him and say, a Big Mac, a Coke, and a fries. <laughs> oh, no. Someone else said, a Big T Mac. Said, um, I would like a deposit. All right, no. <laughs> What is deposit money? Um, Tony is glaring at us. <laughs> mad, he's mad dogging totally. So Maria, like uh, behind behind the desk, are there so many different equipments now? Is that becoming no, no the the the, the way that you're pointing the camera at? Oh, let me let me okay, hold on. Okay, so that's um. That's where you used to sit. That's where I used to sit. Over right, there. but the yellow yeah. tape is so that people don't come in front, or the, the is still working is on that, it. No, the yellow tape is so that people don't come up to us and mm -hmm. run into the equipment that's right here. Oh, so like, oh, so there's a stand and stuff, and the monitor and stuff. And yeah, the lighting, yeah. the monitors, everything. Cool. Uh, so are we like too far behind on actually doing anything? Like, are we stuck in this? This side, no, I really want to the other, you know, you know I want the other side like you. What, no, nothing's, nothing's a done deal. I mean, we mm. could be, um, we okay. could be moving uh, again. I better write that letter soon. Uh, we'll yeah. see how it plays out. Oh, man. Nothing's a done deal. All right, sorry about that, guys. There <laughs> no have, worries, man. I had to get I some water this morning. And I have to go on the set. It's all the movie talk, I'm sure. I mean, it's a lot. <laughs> Prediction. This is exhausting. Know. It's all like frontal cortex, uh, whatever. Shaka! <laughs> Shaka! Uh, to Shaka! Shaka! So, Shaka best man. supporting actor, go Argo F yourself, or. This is, a really, this is a really, really tough category, too. Um, you know, the, best, the, the list of people for best supporting actor looks like the list of people for best actor. Seriously, there's so many talented people on that list. Yeah, oh, you totally know, all agree. these guys have yeah, won Academy Awards this. before. I would tell you did first. Did Christoph win for yeah. Inglorious? Yeah, he yeah, did. yeah, he did. So yeah. if I was, was voting, so good. I would vote for De Niro, partly to say you need to do better movies than the crap you've been doing in the last. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you don't want to see <laughs> um, enough with the Fockers? Fockers? Yeah, um, the yeah. first yeah. one, maybe the second, Orange but kill. not enough. What the heck? That scared the crap out of me. Oh, see, it's like th th those movies. <laughs> like, I mean, particularly the third one, legitimately made me mad. Like, legitimately made me mad. It's like, I mean, just how how do you, as a director, I mean, ask Robert De Niro to do half of the things he did in that movie? It's oh, like it's really De Niro. I mean, you know, clearly he'll do them. No, I I think that um, I think that the 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 betting odds in London favor Tommy Lee Jones slightly over Christoph Waltz, but I think that it's kind of anybody's game here. Um, all these guys have won Oscars before. They all put in really good performances. I would not be surprised to see a, a sneak win out of Alan Arkin. Um, this is another one that I think that you can kind of predict early that if Alan Arkin wins for Argo, then I think you can pretty much take to the bank that Argo is going to win Best Picture. So that, that would be one of my predictions here. Um, 
if Tommy Lee I Jones thought you were going to say stand-up guys. Who needs <laughs> <laughs> Alan Arkin? I thought stand-up guys. No. He'll get the Razzie next year. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm guys actually think thinking De Niro. Player? I'm thinking De Niro, but, you know, that's... I'd love to see De Niro get it. Yeah. 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 You know, for the same reason, so that he does some better movies. Right. Yeah. Start steering him towards some better scripts. Well, and a lot of people think, you know, based on um, and then, yeah. the interview he did with Katie Couric the other day, um, mm -hmm. where he kind of broke down, like a lot of people immediately were like, oh, there, he just won the Oscar for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was the voting closed uh, by then? Uh, seriously, uh, I don't think it was actually. Oh, okay, good. It was, yeah, it was right around the deadline for voting. Yeah, Alan Arkin and Argo. I mean, it was a two media role. I mean, I don't know. Uh, it didn't feel like a uh, Oscar worthy role. I mean, character for me anyway. No, I actually think that um, John Goodman got robbed in that role. Mm. His role yeah. in that movie. I yeah. think Goodman was great. I mean, Goodman got robbed for that, and he got robbed for Flight. Goodman, those are two of the best things we've seen him do. Mm. You know, I this he year was great he, he was great in Flight. Mm -hmm. He was yeah. great in Argo, and he didn't get nominated for either one. And I think I agree. Mm -hmm. I, th I think if I he got nominated, he should have. He'd have won it. He got robbed for Flintstones too. <laughs> oh please! <laughs> Leave he it to me. Us. <laughs> I, th I think no, that but he John... should have probably been nominated for uh, Big Lebowski too. Oh yeah, <laughs> so yeah. good in that movie. Uh, I mean, he is such a talented actor as well, yeah. John Goodman. But you know, yeah. I don't, I don't know why he doesn't get the recognition. I think he's kind of like a Susan Lucci, like she didn't win an Emmy all those years. Right, right. I think that's it's. It's a lot of people. Who haven't won awards? Who should have? And 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 I call it the Susan Lucci kind of effect. effect. Susan Lucci effect. Yeah. Uh huh. Hey Kim, yeah, any reason why your there. camera's black? Yeah, I have it. My video off for now. Oh, all right. I, I'm gonna turn it on. Trust me. She's nerked. <laughs> no, I'm not. That's not Bring good, yeah. Turn it on. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what about best supporting actress? You know, I think that the heavy favorite here is Anne Hathaway for Lady. Oh yeah, really? Um, really. She did. Yeah, it there was early talk for Helen Hunt. I think she's been eclipsed eclipsed by Hathaway. Um, this is another one that I think that if you see Jackie Weaver win for Silver Linings Playbook, then immediately change your predictions for Best Picture and Best Director to Silver Linings Playbook. Because I think if Jackie Weaver wins that award for supporting actress, then I think we can expect a sweep. A trend, a yeah. Award. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're chances. Now. I think it's Anne Hathaway's award. Who's wow. making this? Yeah, I think it's Kim. That was Kim. For no other reason than because she cut the her computer? hair. She cut her hair, took her teeth out. You know. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was putting my uh, headset on. Uh, so yeah, no, I think that it was. Um, uh, you're right. Like she cut her hair for that. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I think that that's that's why they'll give they it. They like to that her. kind of stuff. They do. Um. Yeah, best director as we're going down the list. Spielberg. Um. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be Spielberg. Um. You know, I think David O. Russell's got a although shot at it. Although it should have been, and and you're absolutely right. It should have been. Ben Affleck. If you're gonna give it to Argo, it should have been Ben Affleck. Probably so. Yeah. But I was I was really disappointed, and even though I had predicted when we had that discussion that that he wouldn't get it because I think they think he's too young. Even though I predicted that, I was hoping I was wrong. I was hoping you were right. Uh, Tony, yeah. Tony, you are charismatic, but but your hand is not enough. We need to see you. So Thank you. Tony, you know you need to come on straight. We don't have our hands. Let's do it. You know what? You cannot come on screen. Shut the up, okay? Shut the up. I won't go that far, but but the hand puppet thing only goes so far. We can get you a little puppet. So so I was I was actually. Sorry that you weren't right, and I think I think you were right in that you should have been right. That's what I always think. Yeah, I should exactly. Right. Whoa, yeah, food. Ooh, what okay, is that? so lady with food. I, have, I want that. 
This is a crab escabeche salad. Wow. I just want a bite. No, no, you can't have now, this. Notice how Maria is sharing and Tony didn't. And then look, this is a, an avocado mahi mahi ceviche. Wow. And then I also have. Yeah. Is this chef like, in the house? This is, an is, this in the mor is this morning? Well, I will take an empanada. You'll take an, a warm empanada. Is that a demonstration by a chef or something? Oh, like, wow. <laughs> Okay, um, Susan Feniger and from Border yeah. Grill. Oh. And don't you just love me? Look at all the stuff I brought. Thank you, Maria. And, yeah. My new favorite person. And the, I, I'm telling you, I saw her scoop it out of the thing, so there's no cootie. Now, like, now, no cooties. Matt, fresh. Here's the thing, Matt. Whoa. Whoa. Let me switch the chair. Oh my God, that's delicious. <laughs> I didn't want to come over here to begin with. It was Kim. <laughs> Kim and and right. your point. <laughs> and your point is. And your point. Tony, you mean you don't like us anymore? So here's the thing. So Matt, here's the thing. Just move it here's over. Here's the here. thing, Matt. Move I'm, it over. Like, I want to know. Don't you love me? Don't do the head <laughs> <pivot> again. <laughs> Tony, you I need to get know. on screen yeah. because this just there doesn't bloody work. Thank you. <laughs> you don't want to capture it. Oh, that might be. Perhaps Ang Lee oh. just might eke it out as best director. Here, it's a fork. <laughs> I don't, I Tony, don't think that's so. really spicy. Okay. Holy crud. <laughs> what do you think, Matt? I don't think so. I think so. I've I think just kind of been hearing rumblings. I think it's going to be Spielberg. I don't. I think that it's going to be tough for David O. Russell because he's pissed off too many people. Mm. Uh, right? I mean, he got in a fight with George Clooney. He got in a fight with Lily Tomlin. You can't, can't get into a fight with George Clooney. Right. And Is this a, a real with... life? A real yeah, life fight? No. Who got into a fight? So on the set of... Um, on the set of Three Kings, David O. Russell was screaming at somebody, like some lighting tech or somebody like that, to the point mm. that Clooney took a swing at him. What? Wow. Physical. Right? Physical. Now, now, I remember that. If you get to a point that Clooney takes a swing Tony, at you, so you can be you've messed up. Because yeah. he's normally, he's isn't he nice normally guy. like just laid back? He, he's Hollywood a, loves George Clooney. Well, but the thing is, like, yeah. he's a mellow, laid back guy. Like, you know, he's normally being, like, like a prank star, isn't he? Right, like... Mm -hmm. Get Sean Penn to take a swing at you. Just show him your camera, right? right. But but <laughs> he never he stops. Right? He takes pictures. Yeah. Um. Then oh. on the set of I Heart Huckabees, I remember he had that. some big showdown fight I with Lily Tomlin. I remember that. In fact, that was on YouTube. Right. And it was really bad. Right. And it Lily really Tomlin, who that. everybody kind of liked, and he called her some really bad names. Yeah. So I think that that he's got a rep. I mean, he gets good performances out of his actors. He does, but I think he's got a rep for being, you know, kind of shitty. A hothead. A, a hothead. And I think that he's not going to get an award this time because of that. Now, again, as I said, if Jackie Weaver wins, then I take that all back and he'll win. That means everybody's turned the corner on it. But I think that they haven't turned the corner yet. I don't think Ang Lee, Ang Lee's going to get it for Life of Pi. I'm pretty sure. I think Michael Haneke is not going to get it for more. I think that Ben Zaitlin's not going to get it for Beast of the Southern Wild. They're going to give it to Spielberg. That's my Lincoln. theory. Oh, I think why, why, why at one time I was, was why at one time was Spielberg? It seemed mm -hmm. was it jealousy? It seemed that he was persona non, non grata in Hollywood for a while. Because You're right. his You're right. was, was it jealousy? It was yeah. some jealousy. It was also this. He was part of that group of guys. He and George Lucas were both part of that group of guys that came out of that like director scene of the 70s like right. that 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 kind of it's it's not exactly new wave but in the 70s you had guys like Coppola who who did manage to win but then you had guys Scorsese. like Scorsese Scorsese, Scorsese. Scorsese. Never you had all these guys that came in that was like the new what they call the new Hollywood the capital letters mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the old guard didn't like those guys because they came mm -hmm. in and it was like the directors oh. used to be you know I don't want to get too much into film history but it used to be Film, no, I like the film was the producer's medium, right? Like, so you had guys history. like David O. Selznick, right? Like you would have a Selznick picture. You would have a, a Louis B. Mayer picture. Right. The producers had all of the control. That was the thing with, um, what's his name from the kid stays in the picture? Um, Robert, um, not Alden. Um, help me out here, guys. Um, the the guy that ran Paramount for years. Um, oh, um, you know what I'm talking about that they did the documentary on? Yeah, oh. yeah, I saw it. Damn it. Uh, anyway, uh, you know, there were big billboards of him. Um, Robert, oh, what are you doing? Anyway, I don't know who you're talking about. The producers called all the shots, the producers had much more influence, similar to how Lucas does now, mm -hmm. but the producers had all of the influence. 
these this crop of kind of young Turk directors comes along in the 70s doing, you know, following kind of what the French New Wave had been doing, but like 10 years later, doing all of these movies that suddenly, like, the directors, it got to a point where the directors could do whatever the hell they wanted, right? Mm -hmm. Because they had some success. Um, but they started to be able to do kind of whatever they wanted, and people, studios were throwing money at them, partly because you had, that's also, it, there's a, it's a really complicated story, and I would recommend reading, um, oh, God, what was that book? Uh, Easy Riders... Raging Bulls, um, and it's a story about all those guys, and a story about how film changed in the 70s, you know, because it's also after the breakup of the studio system, because mm -hmm. the studio system, you would have right. writers and directors and actors Acts, under contract, under contract. Yeah. and so again, that fostered an environment where the producers made everything happen, because they were the ones that would, you know, I want this person on my team and that person and this person. Called? Easy Riders, Raging Bulls. I gotta get that from Fascinating book Easy about writers. Hollywood. Uh, there was a documentary. Um, but then you get this crop of guys coming along in the 70s who start pushing the limits because the studio system has fallen apart and these directors are doing really well-received films and it gets to a point after a few years where the studios are just throwing money at them and letting them do anything they want. Now, these movies aren't making huge commercial successes, but they're doing better than anything else because at that point, like in the late 60s, film is starting to kind of die out. TVs get more and more popular. Films going through this point where... American films, you know, the the studios, you know, like MGM still pushing musicals. And you can see in the 60s, like, they're still pushing musicals, and they're starting to die out. Uh -huh. and and nobody knows what they're doing. And you see this switchover where these directors come in, and they start doing these more, these, these more interesting, these more personal stories. You know, the, the Vietnam War and the Nixon era feeds into some of the, you know, movies become less And not sunny. necessarily spending a lot of money. Dual? I mean, really? Well, but that's the thing, is is you get these movies that are less sunny and optimistic. Right. They're, they're heavier. But the directors start to really carry a lot of pull, more so than ever, ever before. And so part of that group is guys like Michael Cimino and Francis Ford Coppola and George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. Lucas and, Spiel and Scorsese, um, who else? John Frankenheimer, um, you know, kind of comes starts to get into that as well. Um, Scorsese and, oh, I'm sorry, Lucas and Spielberg are kind of the guys that come in and manage to make really popular movies, you know, movies that, that make more money. And when their movies start making more money, think that's when the studios really start throwing money at people. And for a while, you get these really crazy projects. That all comes crashing down with um, Heaven's Gate mm. because they're, you know, they gave Michael Cimino way too much money, and the movie, you know, it was a disaster. I, I, I'm really grossly summarizing this book, but to your point, there still, there was for a long time a lot of holdover resentment to Spielberg, because he was part of that crew, and you had, you know, again, the, the Academy is an older group, it's a lot of producers, they remember that scene, and you cannot ever overestimate the amount of petty politics and grudges that happen in Hollywood. That, that is, is so crazy, sad. dude. Right? That's like, sick. Crazy. Because there were movies that he should definitely have won for, and he just E.T. E.T. E. 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 Uh, Color Fire Purple e. was a good one. Is, is, or I think Chariots of Fire beat um, that E.T. didn't win, that Raiders of the Lost Ark didn't win. Like Those are those are travesties, right? Yeah. But um, obvious wins, but because of petty politics, they didn't. So part of what had to happen is you had to wait for some of those old guys to die out. Yay. Oh, I'm sorry. The other sorry. thing is, in, in a long... <laughs> I like that. Waiting for the I'm old guy to die out. <laughs> I'm That's sorry. True. I couldn't the other, long, the other long game there is that if you are successful enough for long enough, everybody comes around. Yeah. Right? So, like, and, and like Scorsese, been... like Spielberg. And what was Spielberg's first Oscar? Was it Schindler's List? That wasn't his first, yes. was it? That was I his think that was, was his first. I think yeah, that was his first. It was because everyone was saying oh, it just would have been hard to deny him the Oscar with that one. Yeah. A lot of people that were saying like a, that, yes, that, yeah. Then people would have like, okay, it's it's a sham. Right. It's, yeah. There's no point. Yeah, it, it would have the, the the Oscars. I think had they denied him, well, like an Scorsese, Oscar with he, with with that. It like when Scorsese won for The Departed, right? Like, yeah, he really should have won for Goodfellas. 
Oh yeah, he yeah. should. Oh, he I really like should have won for Gangs of New York. Yeah. Honestly, wouldn't bother me had he won for Gangs of New York. I love. Yeah, it. yeah, Gangs of New York was good too. And the Departed is just a poor imitation of the Ch Chinese Hong Kong original. So actually, it's worse. <laughs> the, the, I take the well, original. I think the Departed is still a good movie. I love Departed. It's, it's good, but but the original Chinese yeah, one, Hong Kong one. Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. You know, a lot of times what happens is that movies, people get honored. Because it's their time, and it's less about what yeah. they do. I the mean, previous work, you know, yeah. Judy Dench winning for um, winning Best Supporting Actress for uh, Shakespeare in Love when she didn't get the award for Mrs. Brown. And Denzel, she got Mrs. It. Brown is good. Right, Denzel. Well, well, it, come on, that should have been Russell Crowe's year for A Beautiful Mind, but he had pissed off everybody. Yeah, he pissed everybody off. Right, <laughs> I mean, you know, Denzel should have won for Malcolm X, but nobody was going to give it to him. Right. He right. should have won from Malcolm X. X. He was Honestly, really great in Philadelphia. He, he was, was great, great in, in The Bone Collector. Because how can you... Is, you know, Bone Collector was all right. Here's the thing. like, It's a bunch of old white guys, and you know, they yeah. may not be overtly racist, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the expression <laughs> says it all. I, I can tell you, having you know, having oh, been to a couple of country clubs, I know what it's like when you get a bunch of old white guys together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good old days, this and right? yeah. And, I remember in the right? good old like, days. If you guys watching on YouTube, read between the lines. You know what we're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. There you I go. experienced that in corporate America uh, when I went to work at uh, Bush. I was there for a year, and I actually was told I should be home barefoot and pregnant. Mm. By they, a guy you were actually I told with. that? Oh my God! You want to see yeah. a movie that'll make you? <laughs> no, I shouldn't even tell you this. No, 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 no! You, you can't tell the story. You can't can't the that line. Yeah. You want to see a movie that, on those lines? It's less about race and more about sexism. You want to see a movie that is probably the most infuriating movie that I've seen in probably ten years? Is uh, the Invisible War. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I remember, heard I remember of that one. something about that one. What is it I got a chance to check it Invisible out. Invisible War is, is about the prevalence of sexual assault in the military. Oh! Almost across the board. Oh! Not necessarily as an institution, but the military, the, the power structure, the attitude has basically been, oh, you got raped? Too oh, bad. Well. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Right? Yeah, I mean it's it's yeah. it is again the best way I can describe it. It is infuriating. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, it's uh it happens to our police too. Our RCMP, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Oh yeah, they that, are that, bad. Yeah, it's that's yeah. unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So um it, uh, yeah, I mean it pissed me off even to think about the movie. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to see yeah. that one win. Uh, Best documentary, oh, just mm -hmm. to help get that cause out there. But I don't think mm -hmm. it's going to win. Which one? Like, do you think the five broken cameras or what? Which no, one? No, the... five broken cameras won't win because it's a pro-Palestinian movie, and there's, mm -hmm. you know, it's there's, you know, I don't want to make it sound, you know, it's a pro-Palestinian movie which hasn't, you know, by being pro-Palestinian, it can be seen as anti-Semitic. I don't think that it is, mm -hmm. but it'll get seen that way. And so the Academy won't. I, I'm frankly surprised it got nominated. Um, you know, I think that the same thing. Uh, what's the other one? Um, the uh, I have to look Let's at the other see. one. Uh, Gatekeepers won't get the award either. Mm. Um, I think they're going to go with Searching for Sugar Man. Oh, yeah. So the easy, I mean the safe one. Like it, it's about this musician, right? And, uh, yeah, I think they're going to go mm. with the safe one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's what I think they're going to go with for that. Um, mm -hmm. I think best as we're going down the list, best foreign language film is going to be a more. Um, they're going to give it that instead of best picture. Um, best writing uh, for original screenplay, I think is probably going to be Zero Dark Thirty. I think. Um, that was an interesting one. Yeah, I think it's. Movie. I think it's going to be that. I. It may be Django Unchained, but I think that that's a long shot, actually. A lot of people think it's going to be Django Unchained. I actually think that's kind of a long shot there. Mm -hmm. uh, 
there are a lot of clouds floating over Ingl over over uh, Django Unchained, despite yeah. of how good I I thought it was. I think it's great too, but I think you know my 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 personal prediction is these old guys are going to be uncomfortable with so many end bombs. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. kind of what I meant. Right. So like, <laughs> you know, it's it's it, yeah. They're just that's even though privately many of them may use it. Oh, probably. <laughs> or even if they don't use it, they they think it. They right? think or if yeah. they don't yeah. think it, like. But they, they want to be politically you correct. Know, you know what it is? It's it's the, it's, they won't be that. Oh, you know, it, it, some people aren't that overt in their racism. You know, when you put it in their face mm. like that, especially they really, these days. Yeah, especially these days. You know, especially in Hollywood, where everybody will lie right to your face. Right. Right. Like. Yeah. Mm. Oh yes. Well, I'll be they nice to you in your face, face and yeah. behind your back. It's like. Yeah. I was going to get the sword swallowers in here, but I didn't want to boot Matt out. Oh. Yeah, Matt well, is more important. Yeah. I saw, Matt I is more tweet, important. So you tweet earlier on, uh, well, Good Day LA's tweet, and one of the girls, it said, sword swallower, contortionist. I thought, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Trev? Girl for me. We Trev. love you, Trev. We love you, Trev. We, <laughs> we don't do. know why, but we do. <laughs> Are you all of the categories? <laughs> No, not ones. yet. Um, That's what I mean, the major one. Yeah, I, I think best adapted screenplay is probably going to be Argo, although Lincoln has probably a good shot too. Um, animated feature film, everybody seems to favor Brave. I actually yeah, think that's going to go to Frankenweenie. I have not seen that because I just cannot wrap my brain around Frank and Weenie. Frank and Weenie was bad. Brave deserves it, frankly, because Brave has been, as far as I'm concerned, Brave is... No. Okay, okay, now come on. Best cinematography, Life of Pi. Yes, I think that's what's going to get it. Um, I have to I see that, it first. I know that Christy Lemire from the AP is dying for Roger Deakins to win for Skyfall. He's been nominated like ten or eleven times and not ever. Skyfall, won. it has some Skyfall good cinematography. Beautiful. Skyfall yeah. was beautiful. Yeah, uh, it was. I didn't see that. So do you think it's Skyfall should have been nominated for more? I think Skyfall. Well, but I think Life of Pi is going to take it. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, Matt, do you think that Skyfall... I mean, does that... Well, the cinematographers have input on CG. Do they? Yeah, they do. Okay, I just... They do. They'll, I mean... It's as much. They'll, they'll work with the CG artists to make sure things, you know, look right. Okay. And a lot of times the CG guys are given, you know, they're... Direction it's, by well, the it's cinematographer? Not, yeah, or, you know, with Life of Pi, like, you know, let's say they're shooting the kid in a boat in a tank on a green screen, right? Right. Well, the cinematographer is still there shooting. I know, but um, right. I mean, he's not still there. Away, not to take away from Claudio, but I'm just saying. Anyway. So, just a question. <clears throat> Excuse me, Matt. Um, with um, the Hobbit, what do you think is going to happen there? I think the Hobbit will probably get best hair and makeup. You know, pointy ears and beards. <laughs> it's not your favorite for it. Oh, so what do you think? Did you guys already talk about the Star Wars, how they've all signed on or they're going to? That's what I wanted to ask about. That's oh, not news to anybody. Like, look, if, they pony, if Disney pony ups enough, ponies up enough money, they'll all do it. Exactly. I know the yeah, but is it any good? It any has good. to be everyone or it'll be no one. Is It, it always goes down to dollars. I, saw, I saw something from... Um, so I read something today, where the guy who played uh, Luke Skywalker said that he Mark hasn't been Hamill? approached yet. Yeah, Mark Hamill. He hasn't been approached yet, but uh, oh, what crap. he's heard. Oh, yes. What he's so, heard. Someone said he. No, no. This like, is this is a quote from Mark Hamill himself, and he said he hasn't been approached yet. But what he's heard is, if um, people don't uh, sign up, then it's just a case of they'll be written out. Wow. I'm sure that was the same thing that we that, that I read. It he has he has been. That, let me. Do you have it. a? Do you, can it you share it has been approached and is is in discussions. That was actually the headline. In, in, the, the, in, the, in the the thing is like they're talking about. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. The thing I read that, that, that was on the Guardian. Um, but what I read was that. All right. First of all, I will say that I read that Mark Hamill had said that Lucas had approached him and Terry Fisher about doing it. You know, which. There have been talks about that last year, but he said recently Lucas had approached him. Lucas isn't in charge. Lucas can approach him. He's given it all up, like, hasn't he? Right? Lucas ain't in charge. Yeah, right? so there was it. Kathleen it's Kennedy so talking about it. But the other thing is, I got to tell you, with one of these things right now, as a film journalist, everybody is reporting 
every single rumor, and it's all going to be hooey. Like, mm. it, it, there's so many, like, rumors. It's like when everybody, you know, right after Die Another Day came out, everybody went crazy, and there was this whole thing about how they were going to spin off Halle Berry's character, Jinx, and she was going to get her own movie. That never happened. Yeah, I remember that rumor. It's... The you know on one of the one of the bad things about film journalism right now is everybody reports what everybody else says and hears, yeah. and, then, and yeah, it's the rumor mill, and, and it's and it's like a game of telephone. Yeah. And so things get spiraled wildly out of control. It could be that somebody's quoting Mark Hamill mm-hmm. from the discussion from he had it last year. Uh, basically, yeah. that, basically no. George Lucas me. wanted to know, right. but um, the actual people like um, Michael Arndt and Kathleen Kennedy. Um, they've been trying to get meetings, but those two have been too busy to meet with Mark Hamill. That's what Mark you know, Hamill. I, I, I would. I, what will happen is, is they'll, you know, they'll get a. Pro, I mean, there's there will also be non-disclosure agreements. People yeah. will say, you know, it, it's conceivable that what will happen is that, you know, they'll approach Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher and um, Harrison, Harrison Ford, Ford and get them all on board. You know, I, I can. Guarantee you, Anthony Daniels doesn't have anything better to do. Uh, <laughs> you know, that, does no, he still but, fit in the costume? Uh, he claims that he does. Um, you know, I guess they could always loosen it up. Uh, Nobody likes him, do they? So loosen uh, up a couple of bolts. Anybody to do it? Better. Yeah, exactly. Um, they'll you know, probably CGI they'll approach and everybody, and, and whoever and, uh, agrees to do it, they'll write the script based on that. But you know, they could also write the script and then just change a character or two. Um, mm. You know, who knows what they're going to do? I, I hope I they don't. Yeah. I no. hope they don't do it too too much. I, see, I, I want I want I want to see an old Luke Skywalker. That, that's the yeah. Thing. Like, I, don't I do too. Else. I want to see them older. That's I don't know old. if I want to see. I don't know if I want to see old Princess oh, no. Leia. Though. Well, not oh. old. Robin. I don't know. She it looks is. pretty good. There's a velvet rope. It ruins it though if you do, if you try and do. No. Yeah. 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 Just, just, there, ha- there has to be there has to be a handover, a changing of the guards, so to speak. Right. Uh, I mean, without that, I, you know, I, I don't I think, think that, it would work that, that well. That world is so rich. I don't think you necessarily even need to do the original characters. No. 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 Yeah. I mean, do. see, then it's but, different. But, 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 like, but, but don't you want to see what happened to them? Mm, what are they no. doing now? Did they- well, not, not with all no, of them. What's going to happen is th- there's definitely going to be lightsabers in it. That's the thing. There's yeah. going to be there's going to be Jedi in it. And if there's Jedi in it, Luke's got to be in it. And you know they can't really do Star Wars without being this. And, and Luke's going to be like the the head of the. Oh the, sure they can. Yeah. Maria, they can. Maria, they absolutely Maria, can. Maria. 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 You cannot do Sleeping Beauty twenty five years later. There's no Sleeping Beauty 25 no, years later. That's a good sense. point, actually. What yeah. I, one of the things is, you know, that's part, the of face why, part of why Star Wars <laughs> is so powerful, part of why the original trilogy is so powerful, is because Lucas knowingly hits all of the archetypical marks for the classic hero story, as mm. Joseph Campbell talks about. Um, you know, it, it really is, if you've, anyone's ever read that book, Hero with a Thousand Faces, like, it really touches on the classic hero tale. And we expect that of everything, right? And yeah. what doesn't work is, you know, once that hero is done, once the quest has been met, once the evil has been vanquished, John. the hero goes on to be a teacher. And that's the way that typically works. But if you try and come back to that story okay. years later, it doesn't really work because the hero's mm. done his job. So you start to get into... Yeah. I get like, it. He, it's, not a soap, it's not a soap opera. I get well, it. Well, that's the thing. is, It's not a soap opera. It's not an hero, American soap opera. Right. That- Dress See, on and on and on. a journey, not mm. and, and part of his vanquishing the evil is he has to mm. learn something about himself and learn how to act and think in a different way. So the long journey in the original trilogy is Luke deciding not to fight his father and being to willing to, to let his father side. kill him, just mm. to say, you know what, that's my father. That's yeah. it. Mm. That's how mm. he wins. Mm-hmm. Where do you go from that? You have to set up a whole other new arc, mm, new yeah. hero arc, and it's really difficult to do that with your original hero. Yeah. Mm. Problem is, if you make your original hero, you know, for dramatic purposes, like some kind of villain, that's really unsatisfying. Mm, and I think that yeah. would be a huge mistake. But what if they were just on the now, periphery? Now you could make him like, an Obi Wan type right, character, right? But then you know what you're at that point really doing is that you're making Luke and Leia and Han. 
secondary characters. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which yes, that's what a, I'm talking from about. From a storytelling standpoint, I think we all agree that that works. But from a business standpoint, Why it doesn't. The, it'll be I three. Think, I think from a storytelling the... from a storytelling standpoint, I think that would be a nice to have the changing of the guard. I right. don't think I, I agree with you that it, it may not be necessary. I think most of the hardcore fans would love it to see That's how. I mean. right. It's but, like, it's but like watching a, your favorite band. But but play I will tell you, from a business standpoint, you know, when when you've got a company like Disney run by MBAs, they're going to say, "We bought this property so that we could do more movies with Luke and Leia." So one of the things that they'll do, they'll do one of two things: they'll either focus on them as older characters, which. I think we'll bum everyone out, or they'll do new adventures with a different cast. Mm. Which I don't know if I'd like. That, that. works for. James I don't know if that will work though. It works for James Bond. Yeah. Yeah, it works for yeah, Star, it'll, Star it'll, it'll, Trek, right? It works for James right? Bond because it works for that's, Star Trek. It works. It no, Star Trek. They went next Bond. generation. They changed the the, the, See, the reboot is yep. different. But I'm glad you guys brought up Star Trek. I actually think that's a better model. What they should do is set things in the same universe. Mm. Start fresh. Completely yeah, clean, fresh. Right? Yeah. set in the same universe, right? I mean, the, yeah. the expanded universe, people have been doing that with novels and video games and comic books for years, and it works mm. great. And but, I think but they're going to do that as well, though, aren't they? Huh? They're going to do that as well. I'm sure that they will. But I think that if you're going to do a new movie series, if it was me, if I was in charge, if anybody asked mm-hmm. me, I would do a trilogy that's comp- you know maybe has some level of cam, you know, maybe put put Mark Hamill in a... Do lo- cameos. Turn That's Luke into cameos. a one Kenobi type. Yes. Yeah. That's what but I'm talking for the most about. part, start, or even even set it 200 years later. Like, here's oh, the fallout well. from, from the takeover. Here's, you know, Flashback? a new evil has surfaced. Like, whatever. Do it two, three hundred years later in that universe. You know, the the much, much later, you know, the, you know, the, the, the Empire fell, the Republic came in, you know, and and there's this new corner of evil coming. You know, trying to make its way. I mean, that could be interesting. And whole new characters, and you're not beholden to all of this stuff everybody's expecting. That well, you know, it's it, like it is, next generation. Well, remember, like Star remember, Trek remember generation. yeah, but remember the first the first line to to be seen was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So. Just mm-hmm. less long ago, <laughs> <laughs> or even longer ago. Well, I think that's, anyway, that's not going to run. I know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got to run. <laughs> okay, Great guys. Great talking to you. You heard uh, Matt's predictions. We will revisit the results. Yes. Next week. Next week. Right Thank you, Matt. Matt. Clearly, I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> we already knew that, Matt. Yeah. Thank you, Matt. Super genius. Super genius. All right, brother. See you next week. Have a good See one. You. Bye. Later, Matt. Matt. Matt, is that yours? No. Yes, no. it is. You at your thing. No. Are you going to watch the Oscars from home, or are you going to watch it out at some party? I'm going to be at Adam Carolla's. Doing what? You're going to be at Adam Carolla's? Yes. How fun. Uh, it should be fun. I hope so. oh, nice. Tell him, tell him, I thought he said he was going to be at the He was office. supposed to be at uh, in our hangout one day, but they had to cancel it because of there was some breaking news. Yeah, the Dorner about, thing. Like, was, uh, somebody else to go to the office. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Pulling prank. Yeah, the, whole, the whole Dorner thing uh, kept uh, Adam out of right. the studio. Bye, Matt. Thank you. So we get mm. to meet the little one. David is in makeup right now, I think. And um, he is so cute and so precious on the show. Yeah, he is, he's he's great on the show. I'm, I'm still getting him, caught up. I'm going to ask him if he remembers um, my role in the pilot of Touch. <laughs> yep. Look at her; she's so precious. <laughs> I have to go back and see. How... So precious. You were in the, the pilot. Oh yes, I was. Oh, you were talking about me. I was like, huh? Yes, I was Where? in the pilot. You didn't see. I watched the palace so long ago, Maria. Well, I guess you blinked. What did you and didn't, do? I was close to the end. I was the I was the weather girl. I was talking about the end of the world. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll because have I to go back and watch it. Watch it. I didn't, watch it. I didn't watch make it quite an impression. Didn't I post a screenshot of that? I, I haven't I seen it. I think, I was I, at I think we had this conversation a yeah, long time I ago. It was I just nine forty eight. I apologize, Maria. I I I I apologize about that. No apologies necessary. I so have I'm really. Oh, go okay, ahead. Sorry. Really, I bought. I ate that thing, and now I have like cilantro breath. So do I. Thank you. 
<laughs> she has that cilantro breath. It was so spicy. It was good. But wow, my mouth is on fire now. And I I apologize to Davi. I will apologize to him because I'm like majorly cilantro onion breath. <laughs> Not that I'm going to kiss him or anything. He's just a little boy. But. <clears throat> um, okay, guys. I have. I'm so. Look at everyone in the hangout. I'm so happy we got everyone today. But on Monday, I won't be here. Uh oh. Are we gonna be stuck with Tony? No. Why? Why are you being here? So, so if you're not I... gonna be there, does that mean that Tony's gonna have another no. opportunity to you complain better, that nobody better, joined his hangout? You better come and join the hangout, Ayub, or Tony's gonna be in therapy. We already agree, right? Oh uh, man, agree <laughs> Tony is still talking about that thing from like a yeah. year ago. He yeah, is. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely, I'll definitely, definitely join still, Tony. You know, is in sessions about that. <laughs> I'll definitely join Tony if Tony can actually start the hangout. Well, no, Shaka would have to start it, I think. Really? Come on, Tony. How long has he been around you guys? And he doesn't know how to do it yet? Where is he so I can talk about him in his you face? Know, what's interesting is that nobody, nobody else but me and Shaka, really. I mean, it's not a <laughs> <laughs> I really don't care about oh, that. Oh, Tony's expression is, is priceless. It is time. <laughs> Grow up. Start wearing the big boy pants. Oh, he done took off his glasses. He done took off his glasses. And your point in taking off your glasses? It's about to go uh, you down. Need, you need to with Tony. We can't hear you. Come on. Can't hear you. Speak up. Can't hear you, Tony. I probably would have been much more amenable to learning the procedure for starting the hangout had I not yeah. been traumatized. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that was coming. You know what? Get over yourself and <laughs> stop <laughs> using excuses. <laughs> Tony, 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 to, to, to get over yourself and get yeah. on Google Plus. Tony, Google. just to just just to just to you know put it colloquially, cry me a river, build a bridge, and get over it. Woo! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Cry no, me a river. You Cry me a river, did. build a bridge, and, and get, get over, over it. it. Oh my god, I totally forgot to ask you. You gonna let them talk to you like that, Tony? What is first, what is you gonna let them talk to you like that, Tony? <laughs> okay, Diano, don't try to stir the pot. <laughs> oh. Are you kidding? No, this is the that needs to be stirred. This is fantastic. It's Friday. It's Friday. What's going on? Come sit with me. You guys know Robin Sachs. I have to come visit. They have these new up. cool digs here. Robin. Hey, Robin Sachs. Hi, Robin. Hi, Robin. Hi, Robin. Hello, Robin. Hello, Robin. Because now our audience... Robin Sachs, you're awesome. Into, oh, you're so You know sweet. what I mean? Like, yeah. it goes out into the newsroom. And so then it uh -oh. affects... She's bringing up, bringing up the topic. Uh, because it's worth bringing up. Yeah, you know, but this, but I'm telling you, they've got the best digs around this joint. They've got a whole. First of all, they've got the fancy plants behind them. <laughs> there's <something laughs> going on. I, I lost your breath. I'm sorry. That's okay. I was eating that. Um, the Mexican food. There's Mexican food here. See, by the way, being a county worker, like the whole point of coming to work is to get free food. So that's a that's a good. <laughs> why I'm here on Thursdays. I never call in so. Thursdays. What are you doing today, anyway? What's your story? You know what? We're doing a special. It's actually very cool. We're doing a special tonight. I've been. You know all the stuff with the Dorner case. Oh, that's right. You're doing special. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot so to that. I've been. I'm so glad you're doing that, by the way. Because Robin is exposing what are somewhat, you know, hidden stories, right? Due to the Dorner case that's being uncovered. Right. So I have to say my caveat to all of you guys out there is I don't condone at all what he did. No, any not at all. Way, what he did was yeah. wrong, but. What was wrong. What he's done is no, completely it's, wrong. It's, but I started looking at the documents right away, and mm -hmm. in looking at the documents, I've been, um, I saw. You know what he said rang true. How he dealt with it mm. is it? wrong. Yeah, yeah. It was completely wrong. What he yeah. suffered, like his termination, do you think was was unjust? I do think it was unjust. I th oh. I, I think that, that, mm. that now should he have been terminated? Maybe for other things, but they terminated him for filing a false, false report. report. Yeah. I don't believe he filed a false report. I do believe that mm. Evans kicked that kid. Um, the other cop, his the, partner. Yeah, mm -hmm. That was what. So, the female uh, partner, right? The the partner, sir. But here's what: like, are they? Is there a statute of limitations of of reprimanding her or or getting her to? Um, I mean, you know, suffer the consequences of such they, an act. 
They could. They, they could, could still they go still after could. her, but they're not going to go gonna. after her. No, she's promoted. She's promoted. Yeah, she got promoted. I know that. She got, mm. That's ridiculous. I mean, if, if, if what happened happened, if it did actually happen, then it's ridiculous that she got promoted and he got no. fired. And, you know. Robin got the video of the mm. testimony of the guy who got beat or yes. whatever that, that, that wasn't really available. And, and he clear, he says he got kicked in the face. He did. He by did. this yeah. woman he, and... So what's been happening is, is that because I, um, and, and let me tell you, I'm, I'm kind of like um, the most unpopular person in Los Angeles right now because yeah. there's you know, a lot of cops. You, you need to stand your ground. Uh, yeah. You need I, uh, to stand I, your ground. I'm trying to. I am. But, yeah. but don't you know, get any speeding tickets. That's exactly what I keep saying. I try to walk home and stuff. <laughs> trust me, I'm like, so, I will, like not even have a sip of wine and drive right now because oh I'll go, God. like, I'll get the death penalty if I get pulled over. Right <laughs> yeah. There, this is, there's going to be a new highlight or new procedures put in place because I, what, of what happened, or there, what I think should happen is I think that there should be a completely a neutral civilian board of rights. What how it is right now is LAPD. Ex cops represent the cops. oversight. Uh, different yes. oversight. Civilian right. Oversight. Old officers represent the the cops, but not only that, the person who's the ju the panel, the judge, the judges to decide whether or not you should be fired or not are made up of two captains who are current in LAPD. Oh, at the well moment. then there's oh, wrong. No, no, that, yeah, that's, and, that's wrong. Yeah. And, and those Robin. captains are friends. So if you get sent to the board of rights by a captain who are you going to side with your right. captain buddy or the peon right mm -hmm. she's filing a report. report right yeah, yeah. 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 So, well, our you system's know. a bit different can i just get in our yeah, system's a bit different because we did have a lot of corruption in the system and so they set up an independent board that actually do all that sort of thing and it can be recommended through the justice system anyway so it's really interesting that, that you're actually pushing and promoting that mm. and and that will probably end up going through um, it'd be interesting to follow up and see where it's actually going to go. Yeah, yeah I, mean, sadly, I mean, over here as well. Sadly, yeah. some of the stuff he wrote on his manifesto, there are there's some truth to what right. he was saying. So, I mean, yeah. I have friends who are in the LAPD, and, I mean, they are true, like, police officers. Like, they would put their lives yeah. on the line for you. But it's just, it's sad that there Right, was, and there's a lot of them right now who are saying, who are, like, I love LAPD. I love my job, and I hate this guy Dorner, and I can't believe what he did. But what he's saying is very real, mm -hmm. and um, and they're you know and they're terrified mm -hmm. to come forward because of fear of their jobs. Mm -hmm. And you know, Absolutely, so yeah. a lot of those yeah. are, but but you work. know what? That's happening more and more when it comes to those who are in who are in public office mm -hmm. that wrongs are happening and people are getting tired of the wrongs, and so right. they're lashing out. I, I mm -hmm. think we had in the discussion that we had about this uh, previously. I mentioned about the shooting in St. Louis, where mm -hmm. the uh, the guy got fed up with the the county, what he called picking on him, and he went in and killed people in the courtroom. Yeah. Yeah. But that's mm. there's no justification for that. Yeah. There's no justification for it. There are better ways to handle things, you know, situation like that. But well, I think no, we can someone, all. I think that we can all. I think one of the things, though, is that we can all relate to that feeling, though, and that's mm. what I think this it's case so is being prosecuted. Where, yeah. Right. Well, no, but also where you want to like get even, where you're like, you mm. know, I think that that, and I think that's what's so scary about the situation is you can, mm. you know, feel that. Way. I know there's people who are coming. Yeah. So I'm gonna so, like. But, but, I'm gonna go. But really quickly before you go, um, so your special is on tonight. Tonight we're streaming online 10:30 tonight. Oh. Seven. Sweet. On my Fox LA, and it'll be. It okay. usually gets broken up because of the files being so big. So, uh -huh. you know, but and um, this is mm. a, a special that's all about LAPD. LAPD. Mm, and right. this is yeah. ten thirty EST. PST. Ooh. Yeah. Sorry. Ooh, I'll be sweet. Yes. Okay, but it'll, the it'll, it'll be live on. online. Yeah, it'll be online. Okay. You know, I am so, I am so upset that I did, but I miss Robin when I was in the studio, though. Yeah. My, so my, my wife and I. I appreciate that because you know what? I'm not I'm getting really a lot of love from you. There's not a lot so of people that are willing to do this. Yeah. I mean, like Robin. Robin, Robin, Robin. You know, and and from I'm getting a lot of support from the regular folks out there, which is really yeah uh, our job to represent and speak for the, the things right. that are going out right. there. Right. Robin, I just want to mention that in the long term, maybe a truth and reconciliation commission style, where the truth can truly come out, and then they can actually fix the system. Maybe one solution. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what the key is. I mean, you know, that's what you can only hope for. 
I, yeah. I see a hand. I love this, like, hands. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm waiting for David to come okay, in, Jimmy, so, go, I have so. To, yeah, so I have to let her go. I'm okay. so sorry. Okay. But you know what? We've been, be want, back. We've been wanting to do a sit-down with Robin. So I know. Yeah, we'll, definitely. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. Just, just okay. pull me over. Now that your dicks are so <laughs> Now that you want to come over. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, we, don't like, we don't like this new direction, Dick. Cool yeah. The other direction is better. I'm the diva celebrity around here. See you guys. Bye, Bye. 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 Tony. Bye, Have a good weekend, Tony. Um, okay, you guys. David is coming over, and we're. I'm. This is. I can't be doing this. I have to have a talk with Heather. This is so late with the hangout. So we have to keep it short, and then um, and then I have to get going. I'm so sorry. I actually have to jump out. I was letting you guys know I got to jump out because I have a meeting in about 15 minutes, and. I need to prepare oh. for it. You need to prove right. it. I wanted, right. I wanted to stay long enough to to meet him. Well, he's coming right now. Yeah, no. I, as, as soon as he get in, oh, I have okay, to jump okay. out. Is gotcha, what I'm gotcha. saying. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Then okay. I'll introduce you. Um, yeah, introduce you then. Yeah. yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, ha have a great weekend, Kim, and I'll see you next week Tuesday if you make it because I'm Monday I'm up. Um, I'll say goodbye Most now. Definitely. Most okay. definitely. Okay. I'll say goodbye now as well and uh, leave you guys to talk to. David, because I haven't even seen the show, so I have nothing to add. <laughs> yeah. I haven't either, but he's a sweet young man. Um, I just David, David, right? David? Little... That's David? what Stormy says. Stormy says it's pronounced David. Is that right? David Mazus. Ed... That's what Fox.com oh. says for his bio. Oh. David. Like the, the little boy, right? In touch. Yeah. 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 Oh. All right. Well, bye, everyone. Okay. All right. See you. You know what we should do is put the monitor over here. I don't think if it will reach, huh? Do you know? Are you talking about the monitor with the ad over there? No. Oh, no, no, the other one. You no. where that rubbish can is? Hi. David, this is Maria. It is. No, it's not. It's okay. It's so. Yes, we just met. Awesome. We met in the hallway. You're yes. so awesome. Come join me. Whoa. Um, this is cool. So, did Heather tell you a little bit about the Google Chat? No. No. No, she didn't. <laughs> she didn't have time. Oh, we get to hang out with all these people, see them from all over the world, and not only that, we um, have people watching from. Oh, are you in it? Let's see. There's um. Oh, Lisa's about to go on the air, so I'm gonna bring my audio level just a little bit because she's going on. This is kind of like a behind the scenes look at what we do in the newsroom. So we show them. This is our microphone right here. You're used to a microphone. Yes. And then here's our little camera right up here. Okay. okay. So let me introduce you to everybody really quickly. Hey, good morning. It's Maria from the Fox 11 Newsroom here in Los Angeles. And joining me now is the young star of the show Touch on Fox, uh, also starring Keeper Sutherland. But we do have our headliner here. We've got uh, David Masseuse. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, some exciting things going on in your life, right? Not just Touch. I have a feeling yeah. that you have other things going on. Let me quickly introduce you to everybody here in the Hangout, okay, David? We've got Diano. He's hanging out with us from Reno. We've got Jimmy. He's here in Koreatown in L.A. Hey, Joe Hello. is in um, Las Vegas. Hello. Campton is in Calgary, Canada. Hi, David. Cam is in St. Louis. I'm sorry, Kansas, Kansas City. City. Hi. Kansas City. <laughs> City. Michael is in, uh, he's on Australia. He's in Brazil. Oh, yeah. um, you've got Stormy, who's in Mississippi. And uh, Trev is in England right now. He's in Hello. Uh, the UK. Hello. So we have everybody from all over. And I know you're watching on air. Thanks, you guys. Make sure you plus and comment, please. Share the link. And if you have a question for Debbie, you just put it in the comments box and I'll get it to him. Okay. So let's start with your character. Is it Jake? Jake. 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 Awesome. <laughs> I was actually in the pilot episode of, of Touch. You were? I played the weather girl. It was at the end, like close to the end of the episode. I don't know if you remember that at all. So way back. <laughs> Are you allowed to watch? Vaguely. You watch the show, yes? Oh, yeah. yeah. You do. Okay. Um, so so what's going on? What What's up? Um, with me or with the show? Both. Yeah. Uh, well, the show is, with Jake in the show, mm -hmm. he... Um, He's evolving and he's getting more. He has his relationship with Martin, his dad, mm -hmm. is getting a lot stronger. Uh -huh. uh, and with me personally, uh, I'm going to school. Yes. I go to a religious Jewish school. A religious. So you're not homeschooled? Uh, or no. A, it's, a, there's no tutor that goes on the set with you, no? No, private school. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. And actually, I'm going to a field trip later on today. You are? Where are you going? Mulligans. Mulligans. I don't know where It's that... like. It's a bar. 
There is a mulligan bar. I don't see one. No, no, no. no. Jimmy. <laughs> I want to go on this field trip, too. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, yes. They have, like, um, golf. Yeah, a little, miniature, uh, golf, miniature golf. Miniature golf. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's, oh, that's are you going on your field trip? How fun! I, I remember going to museums and stuff, which is fun too. When I was, I have younger. a question, um, <laughs> David. I, if you guys have any questions for I have David, a question. Kim has one. Kim has one, one real quick. The show as well. I am a big fan of the show. Love it, love it. Now, I've always wondered how are you able to be in the show and not say a word? Yeah, because kids awesome. love to talk and all yeah. like that. And, I mean, yeah. literally, I'm going. He's got to say a word. He, he's got to say something. This. How 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 do you I, uh, prepare for that? It's easy. You don't have to remember any lines. Right? I do. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, it is pretty difficult. I mean, I do love to talk. I love to talk. Mm -hmm. If somebody asks me what's your favorite thing to do, talk. Just talk. <laughs> 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 yeah. So I love to talk. Um, so it is pretty hard. Uh, but it's hard to show like what Jake's feeling mm -hmm. and his what. His emotions, well, what's going right? on? Yeah, you have to do. Like, do you do it with your eyes and your and yeah your, your physical movements? Because I can't show that much expression anyway. Because Jake's character, he does feel things and mm -hmm. he does, but he doesn't really show it that much. And I think the in the course of the second season, it's uh, he's coming out a little more. And, mm -hmm. um, he, you can really see what he's feeling mm -hmm. a little bit more. Um, Diana, did you have a question? Go ahead. Uh, I do. Um, first off, David, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of the show as well. It's like I, I really am enjoying it. It's Thank like you. one thing I want to know from you, man, is like you, you've got a chance just in this one show to work with some pretty damned amazing actors. Kiefer Sutherland, uh, Maria Bello, Danny yeah. Glover, Catherine Dent. I mean, w what has that been like for you? It's like being around these people and, and, and learning from them and being a part of this experience with them. Do you know that they're big stars? Yes. Do you, you do? No, I do. I, I love 24. You, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, Kiefer. <laughs> How's it work? How, what is it like working with Uncle Kiefer? I know. <laughs> uh, fantastic. He's such a nice guy. He does. He actually got me a guitar for my eleventh birthday. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Play? Yes, I do. Excellent. Got me a really nice guitar. Also, it's Taylor. Um, yeah. Nice. And so steel string, uh, nylon, acoustic, electric, acoustic. Uh, okay. Okay. Acoustic. Uh. Uh, so yeah, so he, he teaches me how to play guitar a little bit, teaches mm -hmm. me a little chess, boxing, uh, and he's just like a second dad to me. Oh, it's just nice. amazing. And he also started when he was a kid, so I look up to him. That's right. That's and right. Just awesome. And yeah, that's cool. And he's an amazing actor. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Kempton, did you have a question too? Yeah, I have a question. So Hi. you're saying uh, you're going to a religious school, uh, David. Um, the show itself, there are some elements of religious undertone or uh, explanation that they've been thrown out. So how do how does that work to you uh, um, in the show when you acting? Um, I think it's pretty cool because in the show there's a lot of spiritual things, mm -hmm. and that's really cool. I think that's really important for people to see these days because... Do, do you ever tell the director, um, well, I think I think Jake would do it this way or... I or, do. You do? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I've added some funny things and once in a while. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think it's really important because I think we've gotten, I think TV has gotten a little off track with that um, and I think it's important to bring spirituality, spirituality. back mm -hmm. and meaning. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a lot of meaning and spirituality in the show, and that's why I think it's really cool. Mm. Uh, Jimmy, did you have a question? Well, yeah, my question was, um, now that you're a famous star, I mean, I've seen, you've done a couple of commercials uh, recently too, haven't you? Didn't you yes. do a commercial? Yeah. I did, I, I did a Chevy commercial. Lately. Yes, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you were in, you were in, the, uh, in the office playing games with the, one of the, uh, yes. the, 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 the people. Um, I just wanted to say, uh, not only are you very brilliant at doing what you do, even though you don't speak, but how is it like? Uh, what is it like being in school and everybody knows that you're like this major star? Um, well, my friends, my close friends, haven't really treated me differently, and I'm really thankful for that. Because uh, okay. it was really hard. If like I, all of a sudden, mm -hmm. all, everybody was like, I was mm -hmm. a different person. Mm -hmm. um, some people that I don't really know as much treated me a little differently, but mm -hmm. I know Once my close friends Once they know are, you, you're like yeah. just a regular guy. Do you do you have to do chores at home? Do you have um, <laughs> special my, privileges at home? My mom makes me make my bed. Okay. <laughs> okay. You should do that. Do you do, uh, throw out the trash or anything like yes, that? Yes. Well, yeah. yeah. Once in a while. 
<laughs> All right. Okay. Um, what are you saving up for? Like, do you, you know, because you get a paycheck, like you work like all these adults, but do you get to just buy whatever you want or do you have like one thing that you um, well, save up for? Well, most of my money is going to college. Could nice. Be. Nice so one. Yeah. yeah, I want to go to NYU. <gasps> Uh, oh. I don't know if mom's gonna let me because it might be a little too far. <laughs> she might make me go to use. The yes. mom is behind you. <laughs> yeah, she is right there. Uh, I just love New York. I, I do too. Know. I've been there like three times. Why and do you like it? It's just because it's exciting. I don't know. There's just something about it that like I want to live there. Me too. I think. Oh, me too, mom. Me too. It's because you've been there, people. done that though. Everyone gets in their car and they go somewhere. But yeah. in New York, you're all like walking around with everyone. People all the time. Mm. You're awesome. I just can, love can, New York. can you can you talk about uh, what are you gonna oh, want to study? Kempton, he, uh, we have to go. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Kempton. Yeah, right. we have to let him go. But um, I no, Kempton question for you. No, no Kempton question. question. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but listen, congratulations and much like to you. How old are we? How old are you now? Twelve. It was my birthday on Tuesday. Happy belated. Oh, happy. That oh. Happy guitar. That is no, that was my 11th birthday. That was last time. Okay, so no, you just turned 12. Yeah. Can you call this time. You come happy birthday. Time? I will. Okay. <laughs> and here, well, let's take a photo. Here's the camera right here. Um, and then Lee, you guys will take a photo. Okay, here we go. <laughs> awesome. awesome. David, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good weekend, and man. If your show ever needs another like weather person again, I'm gonna. <laughs> I know somebody. I will. Or or a bad guy. I'll take the bad guy. This is our director, Francis. I'll take the bad guy in English. <laughs> he really does speak. Yes. He's so cute. Good job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Excellent. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. All right, Maria, have a good weekend. I know you got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> Did you get my email, Heather? We'll talk later. Okay. I used to be around. Okay. Bye, guys. Okay. He's sweet, huh? Yeah, that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Very, very, very sweet kid. He's yeah. so smart. My God. Like these, these, oh, yeah. Whenever we interview these young actors, I'm always so impressed at... I feel like a waste. Yes, I feel so <laughs> yeah. ill-equipped. I try to remember how <laughs> dumb I was at twelve. I mean, good God! <laughs> so articulate and so smart and wow. Mm. At twelve years old is like I think my well, greatest accomplishment yeah. was climbing to the top of a building one time or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Doing, doing yeah, something it's, stupid and reckless. And it's already uh, thing of going to NYU. It's NYU as well. Yeah, like, I mean, come on, colleges at twelve? What was yeah, the I furthest have, thing from my mind? Yeah, I me too. Man. Hey, James Hawkins, I'm so sorry I didn't get to your question. I just saw it pop up. I hate the way it doesn't pop up the comments, but um, James has asked if David could work with anyone. Who would it be? Gosh, I'm sure he would have come up. That is a good question for um uh, for youngsters. Isn't it? Right? Well, for anyone, yeah, for anyone. I think I think I think Kim even asked that too in us on the sidebar before mm -hmm. she left. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good weekend. All right, too, Matt. And oh, by the way, Deanna.